That's one. Two more to go. Two down. One more and we'll be ready. All right, we're ready. Princess, when we get Incendo near one of the stink bombs, you destroy it. Let's do this thing! Okay, here they come. Good luck, guys. Snipper, like a can of beans and a cabbage and a smelly, smelly baby. Oh man, that's about all my nose can take. You in? Incendo out? We totally owned those guys. You said it, dude. We got tons of loot. Doesn't get much better than that. Great job defeating Incendo. He'll think twice before bothering me again. Glad we could help. But there are still two more flame guards out there that are coming for you. Who do you think we should tackle next? Combustor, definitely. What's the story on this Combustor dude? Combustor is old school. He and my dad have been hanging out together since they were kids. When my dad became king, he made sure Combustor had a prominent place in the Flame Guard Brigade. Why should we fight Combustor next instead of the other guy? Combustor is definitely more powerful than Incendo, but he's not nearly as tough to deal with as Leroy. We should really build gradually to Leroy. Trust me. Where did you last see Combustor? Last I heard, he and his goons were headed in from the east. They were looking for me in the Ice Kingdom. As if I'd ever go there to hide out. All right, so that Incendo guy had a weakness. How about Combustor? Combustor is an expert at combat, and he can stop pretty much any attack. But it's really easy to make him angry. When he's frustrated, he forgets his training and attacks head on, literally. Of course, I don't know how that will help. He's very hard-headed. Really, his skull is twice as thick as a normal flame person's. Hmm. We'll have to find a way to work with that info. So, where do we start? I just cleared the path to the north. Head up there. When you're ready, I'll let down the defensive barriers and you can take on Combustor and his minions. I hope you can handle them. Don't worry, Princess. Just leave that stuff to the heroes. Yeah, sure. Bye, Slime Princess! Bye, Slime Princess! Hmm. Weird. Oh! Ow! My nose! Oh! Man, I am so bummed out! <sighs> hey, Ice King. Oh. Hey, guys. Slime Princess ran out of here. What happened? We were on a date. And we had a little disagreement. What kind of a disagreement? Oh, you know, what to do on a date, where to go on a date, that I kidnapped her to go on a date, the usual stuff. You seem depressed, you know? 
more than usual? Well, I always get upset when I'm confronted by my sense of relationship inadequacy. Huh? I has a sad when I think about how I can't woo the ladies. Ah. How come you froze that geyser? When I get really upset, I lose it and freeze stuff sometimes. It's something I'm trying to work on. What happened to your nose? Looks like you hurt it. I tripped and fell when I tried to catch up with Slime Princess. My nose went right through that mound of grass and up popped a geyser. The water must be really close to the surface here. Crazy. Hey, uh, you guys mind if I hang out for a while? Uh, maybe you'll think of some advice for me or something. <sighs> sure, why not? Finn, I know there's got to be a way to use all this to defeat Combustor. We just have to figure it out. What? Use somebody else's misery to accomplish our mission? Hey, guys, maybe we should think about pulling an all-nighter on this one back at your place. I got a lot of stuff to work out. I'm in. Gotta really sink this fence post deep to make a geyser. One geyser coming up. Now we gotta get Ice King to freeze it. <laughs> gotta really sink this fence post deep to make a geyser. <laughs> now we gotta geyser. Let's trick Ice King into freezing it. Maybe I come on too strong. You think that's it? Maybe I should find a more subtle way to kidnap the princesses. Something more romantic. Or maybe you could just lock yourself up in the Ice Kingdom, cut yourself off from the world, and become a fanfic writing hermit. You'd be great at that. Oh, you're right. I won! Man, that was pretty harsh. We needed another ice column, dude. Sacrifices had to be made. Aw, uh, talking to you guys isn't helping at all. I'm gonna go talk to Gunter. He's a much better listener. Have you guys figured out what to do? Yeah, we're gonna trick Combustor into smashing his head against these super hard frozen geysers. Not even his super thick skull will stand up to that. That just might work. All right, guys, here they come. Tons of loot. Doesn't get much better than that. Flame Princess, don't worry. We already took down two of those guys that were after you. One more and you're safe to go back and rule the Fire Kingdom. You guys just don't get it. Those other guys might have been tough, but they're nothing compared to Leroy. Okay, so tell us about Leroy. Leroy is the most experienced flame guard in the Fire Kingdom. He served and helped to overthrow seven different rulers. He's only ever been loyal to my father, and he's sworn to make it his mission to remove me from power. 
So, if this Leroy guy's so tough, where's he hiding? He's not hiding. He's just taking his time. He knows there's no hurry because no one has ever defeated him. He's still a little ways off to the east. I guess you better give us the scoop on this guy's weaknesses. That's just it, Finn. As far as I know, Leroy has no weaknesses. He's the most powerful and invulnerable flame guard that has ever served in the Fire Kingdom. That does not sound good. It's not. Rumor has it he somehow got his hands on a weapon that fires powerful sound waves. He doesn't even have to touch his enemies to defeat them anymore. Lemon grab sound sword. It has to be. Yeah, we need that sword. Now we have two reasons to lay the beat down on Leroy. Maybe you guys should just give up and go home. I had a good run as ruler of the Fire Kingdom. Maybe it's just time I stepped aside. No way, Flame Princess. You're a totally math ruler. I'm a... We're gonna save you. Well, okay. I just opened up the path to the east. Go ahead and scout the place out and figure out how you're going to fight Leroy. You've got a little while, but don't take too long. Once they get here, I won't have a choice but to let Leroy and his men through. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Oh my glob! What's wrong with this thing? What the? Why is Lumpy Space Princess out here? I don't know. We've got to get her to leave or she might get hurt. LSP, you have to get out of here. There's gonna be a huge dangerous battle here any minute. No way, Fen. I was here first. What are you doing out here anyway? Singing, duh. Seriously, LSP, you have to leave, now. I'm not going anywhere. You and Jake just want me to lose again like last time. No lump and wait. What are you saying? None of your lumpin' business, Jake. Keeping my set list secret this time. How much longer will you be? I mean, you really don't have much time, seriously. I don't know. The stupid speaker is broken. I can't practice with a broken speaker. The sooner it starts working, the sooner I'll be done. Okay. If we promise to help you, will you leave right after? Yeah, whatever. I'll leave if you fix the speaker and help me rehearse. Guess we don't have a choice, Jake. The faster we do what she says, the faster she'll leave. What are you guys still doing here? Fix my lumpen speaker already. All right, LSP. Your speaker's fixed. You can start rehearsing. About time. <clears throat> my lumps. I know you want a slump up on these lumps. But you can't cause you're a chump, these lumps. Ugh. That sounds awful. Finn, turn the speaker so I can hear myself better. The speaker definitely swivels, but I won't be able to move it far by hand. There, try it now. My lumps! I know you want to slump up all these lumps, but you can't get your jump! Ugh, oh, it's too loud. Maybe if I step back. My lumps! I know, I know you, you want to slump up, up all these lumps, but, but you, you can't get your jump. jump! Now the speaker's pointed the wrong way again! Then, move it! <sighs> Try it again. From the top. My lumps, I know you want to slump up on these lumps, but you can't cause you're a chump. Ah, uh, no, I still sound terrible. You suck at fixing speakers, Fen. That's it, I'm out of here. I cannot work with amateurs! I thought she'd never leave, dude. Yeah, but all this biz with the microphone and speaker gave me an idea of how to deal with Leroy. 
Flame Princess, I think we have a plan. If Leroy really has the sound sword, we can use LSP's setup to turn it against him. Let Leroy's guys through. We're ready. I sure hope so. Here they come. Prepare to taste the wrath of Leroy Flame Guard. Look, Finn, we were right. He's got Lemon Grab's sound sword. Yeah, makes things interesting, doesn't it? Now, do you finally get how there could be worse things than dancing? Magic Man, you take jerkdom to a whole new level. I try, I really do. Have fun not dancing. You guys are going down from my loud waves of sound. Yeah? Bring it on, Leroy. We're ready for you. Combat awesomeness. Check out all the dosh we got. <laughs> yeah, we kicked some serious booty. Well, Flame Princess, that's the last of them. You can go back to ruling the Fire Kingdom in peace. For now, at least. Fire Kingdom seems kind of unstable politics wise. Flame people are hotheads. What are you gonna do? We'd love to stay and talk, Princess, but we better get moving. Come on, Jake. It's time to head over to Castle Lemongrab. Castle Lemongrab is definitely not a happy place. Yeah, this place really creeps me out. Let's give Lemongrab the sword and get out of here. It's unlocked. Guess we can just go in. Lemongrab, look what we've got. See, I told you these guys were the ones who took your noisy sword. Magic Man, what the? Let me grab, he's lying! My work here is done. Darn you, Magic Man! What? My sound sword! Thieves! You stole my thing! Huh? No. You asked us to help you find it, and we did. We're bringing it back to you. You stole it! And now you come to steal more of my precious things! Theft is unacceptable! Dude, settle down. We're not here to steal your... Unacceptable! For the last time, Lemon Grab, we didn't steal your 100 years dungeon! And my lemon peeps will recommence their lovely lemon songs from all the corners of Ooh! 
As soon as my remote reconditioning device is ready. But you don't have any reason for them to sing. You have your sword back. You don't need to call it anymore. The sweet sounds of my lemon peeps will block out the evil dancing noise music should it ever come again. But- 100 years singing! 100 years, dungeon! No parole! Whoa! Yeah! Oh. That dude has anger management issues. Whew. Now what do we do? Yeah, hopefully not end up like that dude. Gotcha. file things well, that was easy wonder why that dude didn't just finish the job yeah yeah I think I've seen this snail before Come on, Finn. Let's find a way out of this loony bin. But Lemon Grab said he's got his peeps making that horrible noise all over Ooh. We can't leave until we find a way to stop it. Yeah, I guess you're right. What are we gonna do to make him stop it? Hmm. Hey, I know. We'll prank him. Um, I'm getting a little deja vu here. Haven't we done that before? Like, a lot? Isn't that getting a little, oh, what's the word? Predictable. I think the word you're looking for is perfected. But that last time when you were trapped here with Princess Bubblegum, it didn't work out at all. You got put in prison. We just got out of prison. That's because chemistry betrayed me and wrecked the prank. Stupid chemical reactions not working in pudding. Also, PB didn't have her heart in it. She doesn't have a sense of humor anymore like she did when she was young that time. And you're the funnest guy I know. Anyway, third time's a charm. Hmm, yeah, okay. Maybe you got something there. I'm in. Oh yeah, it's pranking time. Let's look around. There's got to be some prime pranking possibilities around here. Dude, what is up with this place? It kind of looks like a baby's room. Whatever it is, we should probably take a look around. Maybe we'll get some good prank ideas. Yeah, but all that's in here is a bunch of doll stuff. Maybe we can find a way to use these tiny doll-sized sleeping bonnets for something. Good thinking. Lemon Grab will flip out if his doll is missing, and maybe we can use the doll for another prank later. Dear little lemon sweets, Daddy came by to play, but you were asleep. I will be back later for dance time. Mmm, lemon grab. Lemon sweets must be the doll, and lemon grab thinks it's a kid or something. Well, since dolls can't read. Ha! I know a good prank. Dear lemon grab, I am running away because you smell like dog buns. Mmm, lemon sweets. He'll think his baby has run away. It'll drive him crazy. Yeah, if you tied the bonnets together, they'd look like an escape rope. But there's not enough of them. It won't be long enough. Yoink! Tying the bonnets to the rope makes it look like the doll made a rope to escape with. There! Now it looks like the doll ran away by climbing out the window. Everything's set for the prank. Let's hide and call Lemon Grab. This is going to be great! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Lemon sweets, my son. What's wrong? Oh, oh lemon sweets. Hmm. What's that? A, a note? Hmm. 
dear lemon grab, I'm running away because you smell like dog buns. Love lemon sweets. R run away! No! Lemon sweets! A uh, rope! He's gone out the window! Lemon sweets! Lemon sweets, where are you? Lemon sweets! Oh, where can my lemon sweets be? Watch this! My lemon buns! Oh, oh, unacceptable. Yeah, man, we pranked him good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's think of another one. All right. Awesome. Maybe there's a way to use the collar to open the door, but that ain't it. I don't think I have everything I need to make this work. I think we should leave it here. There's definitely a way we can use it to prank Lemongrab. Okay, so now it's up high. That's cool, I guess. I got the dolphin! All right, Lemon Sweets is way up there in the catcher's mitt. Is that the prank? Almost. Lemon Grab will jump up to get the doll, but we're gonna give him something interesting to land him when he comes back down. Not exactly sure where you're going with this, but you're the prank master. Yeah, I am! Now, let's find a place to hide. Let's hide in here and get this prank party started! Ahem! Father, help me! I'm trapped! Oh my! Is that you? Lemon Sweets? Have you come back? Lemon Sweets? How did my favorite mid thing get there? Where is my remote control? And how did you get stuck, Lemon Sweets? Mm, never mind. I'm just happy you are back. Wait there. I will rescue you. Oh, now what? What an unacceptable day I'm having. That's funny. Now what are you going to do to him? I'm going to make his landing a little more interesting. Maybe there's a way to use the collar to open the door. But that ain't it. Nothing. Hey, did you hear something buzzing in my backpack? Maybe there's a way to use the collar to open the door. But that ain't it. That didn't do anything to the door, but it made something in your backpack buzz. Weird. What were you thinking trying to combine those? Locked. Maybe there's a way to use the collar to open the door, but that ain't it. Some kind of electronic security door. Gonna be tough to get past that. This thing doesn't have a keyhole or buttons, just some kind of speaker. I bet that's a sound lock. That screaming noise the lemon people make must be just the right pitch to activate it. Man, I guess we're stuck. I don't know how we're gonna activate that thing without a lemon person to scream it open. Hmm. Maybe not. I have an idea. You still got that shot collar thing, right? Put it on. Yeah, sure. Okay. 
but I don't know how this is supposed to help. Really? Not the remotest idea? <laughs> I'm sure something will come to you. Okay. Jake, what the heck? <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. Priceless, dude. Not cool, man. Aw, oh, lighten up, dude. It worked, didn't it? Yeah, I guess. But from now on, how about we stick to pranking Lemon Grab? You got it. Um, just in case, you might want to take off that collar. Because that scream of yours cracks me up. Done! One jar of nasty fountain water. Now to put a jar of nasty fountain water under his feet. What? Who, who's down there? No! My shoes! Wet feet are unacceptable! What's the matter, Lemon Grease? Afraid of a little water? You! I am not Grease! One million years done! Whoa! Oh. Ha! Pranked! Ow! Unacceptable! Cool! Sweet! Okay, now that Lemon Grab has been pranked, we need to find out how to stop his lemon peeps from screaming before he comes after us. Man, how do we get into messes like this? Magic man! Oh yeah, right. Hey again, guys. So, things going okay? Everything good? No, man. Things are not good. Hey, don't get an attitude with me. You could be dancing right now instead of being part of this whole thing. You need to help us stop Lemon Grab's peeps from making that noise and then stop messing yeah, with us. Yeah, you owe us. Take us to whatever Lemon Grab is using to control the lemon heads. Right now. Hey, no problem. Consider done. <laughs> Aw, oh, man, the reconditioning chamber. I remember this place. Lemon Grab uses it to shock people. Hey, that console out there. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, I bet that's what he's gonna use to make the Lemon Peep scream. He's probably gonna rig it to a remote control and send a super powerful shock signal from the reconditioning chamber to their shock collars. But what he doesn't know is that we have the remote control. Right, but we still gotta destroy that console. If we can get out of here, that is. Ah, uh, good. There you are. Mm, acceptable. I think we're in trouble, dude. Mm, yes, trouble. Your pranking was both unfunny and unacceptable. Lemon Grab, listen. We didn't... Listening is over. You will be reconditioned. Maximum juice. Let the charge cycle begin. This made me angrier than your previous pranks of the hot sauce in the Candy Kingdom and the fizzing pud incident at my state dinner. And I suspect you have my remote control for these offenses. You must be reconditioned. I will monitor the controls and ignore you until the reconditioning commences. Jake, we gotta find a way out of here before that thing finishes charging. Okay, now what? I got an idea. Give me that shock collar. Okay, give me a sec. I know exactly what to do. Steady, steady. Gotcha! What? What is this? This is unacceptable! He hit the door lever. Now's our chance, Finn. We can't just shut it down. We have to destroy it. Gonna blow. Hi, I'm back. Just thought I'd say goodbye before you're reconditioned. Out here, dude. Oh my. <laughs> he really should stop messing with us. <laughs> this console is a goner. But just in case, I'll nab this lever. That'll make it harder to rebuild. No! My juice lever! I won't be able to make my peep sing! He'll come back and live here again! <laughs> I guess our work here is done. Another successful Finn and Jake investigation. Um, you think those guys will be all right? 
Yeah, probably. Okay. Laters. Oh, unacceptable. 